My testosterone went up by 200 points, but I didn't change my dose. What happened? Well, historically, I've taken commercial testosterone, which you might pick up from a CVS or Costco pharmacy, uh, because the batch-to-batch -batch consistency there um, is very tightly controlled. Um, and I made the switch after years past I uh, had taken compounded testosterone from Empower Pharmacy and noticed that my testosterone levels were a lot higher than they should have been. So recently I switched back to compounded testosterone because it was very cheap, honestly, and I noticed the same thing. Um, not to the same extent as the uh, poor quality control at Empower Pharmacy, um, but it was about a 200 point increase in my total testosterone. So that's about a 20% increase. And with a similar sex hormone binding globulin, so that's not the factor there. And actually there was an extra about 24 hours uh, washout period between the injections. So usually it would be about 48 hours after an injection, I would go and check my levels. In this case, it was 72 hours after an injection. Um, and it's just because it's compounded testosterone. Um, I think pharmacies tend to overdose it a bit rather than underdose it. Uh, maybe this is so that patients think that it works better. Uh, but for me, it makes it a little bit more cost effective because I can actually back off the dose and I'm getting a little bit more for my money. And this is why you should check your testosterone levels regularly, whether it's just a even a commercial brand change from Pfizer to Perigo or whether you're switching between different compounding pharmacies. Um, you can trust that, you know, generally what is on the label is what's going to be in there. Um, but you should verify with blood work at least a couple times per year.